Welcome back to Steve's Small Engine Saloon. Hey everybody, today I'm going to show you how I winterize my pressure washer pump so it doesn't destroy itself when the freezing temperatures come. So you can see that I've already taken the garden hose off obviously because it's on my bench. The second thing that you need to do is uh, disconnect your high pressure hose and wand. Just unscrew that and pull that off too. Oh, got some water coming out of there. Maybe I should have released the pressure. Oops. I take my hose and wand outside and uh, what you want to do is just drain the water out of that. Let's take it outside, I'll show you what I mean. There, I just took that outside. It's dry now, there's no water in there. It can't freeze and hurt anything. Uh, I'm gonna show you something else in a second too with, uh, in regards to that. Contrary to popular belief, uh, this entire pump is not full of water. A lot of people think that the whole thing has water in it. This just has oil in it. Uh, the only part that has water in it is what uh, I call it. It's the uh, pump manifold. It's just this little bit on the end here. Holds very little water. Now the problem is, you leave it sitting through the winter and it freezes, water expands and uh, will break that pump. It will crack that pump apart and if that happens to you, these things aren't, or aren't inexpensive. They're not cheap. You have to replace your pump if you do that. We don't want that to happen, so we want to winterize this properly. Now, if you don't have any of this pump saver stuff, like I'm going to show you in a second, at least do this. Common sense. There's water in there. It's going to freeze and expand and break your pump. Get rid of the water, obviously. Air compressor. Check this out. Put your air compressor right in where the garden hose goes and blow the water out. It's going to come out right where your high pressure hose comes out. Blow all that water out of there. And then now there's no water in there to freeze. Now, the problem with that is there is a whole lot of little rubber parts and seals in here. If you just blow that water out of there, all those little rubber parts in there can dry out over the winter and crack. And then you might still have a leak in there when you fire it up in the springtime again. So the best way to do this is to replace the water in that manifold with what antifreeze. It just, come on, it's antifreeze. Here's a couple options right here for you. There's an aerosol one. Uh, it's a, what is that? That's a Briggs & Stratton pump saver. You screw that right into where the uh, uh, garden hose goes. Aerosol, you shoot that in there and it replaces the water protecting all those little rubber parts and everything in there. The reason that I don't like those little aerosol ones is because that's good for treating your pump maybe like two times, and then you throw it in the garbage. You gotta buy a new one. I really like these little squeeze bottle ones like that because you use it and use it, and then when it's out, you can save the bottle and reuse that bottle. You just refill it with... Uh, RV antifreeze or plumbing antifreeze. It's the same thing in there. You just refill that and you can keep using that. It's the bottle that you want. If you want to see some of this stuff, I have links right underneath this video in the pinned comment and in the description. Click on those. This stuff is really not very expensive. This is the one I'm going to use for the demonstration. Check this out. It screws right into where your garden hose goes. You just take that top cap off of there, screw it right into your, where your garden hose goes, and open the valve, and now this is very interesting, this is what a, where a lot of people go wrong on this. I'm squeezing that right now, and you'll see there's nothing coming out of the outlet going to your high pressure hose 
you know, your wand. All you have to do is squeeze the bottle. As you're squeezing that bottle, pull your engine over a few times, like that, as you're squeezing it. Check this out. See, now there's, now it's coming out. You keep doing that over and over again until you see the pink liquid coming out and you know then it just replaced all that water in there and th there's no possible way that can freeze. It's full of antifreeze now. Yes, I took my spark plug out and made it a lot easier for me. That's why it looked like it had no compression. But uh, if you have somebody else around, whatever, you, can, uh, you don't have to take the spark plug out to do it. Just turn that engine over a few times. It, it really doesn't take that much antifreeze to do that. Look at that. What's that? An ounce? That's all the water that's in that manifold. That'll last you for a long time. And like I said... Uh, when you run out of that, you just refill that bottle with cheap RV antifreeze or plumbing antifreeze. Oh yeah, on another note, there are some people out there that will leave their wand and hose hooked up and they will do that same procedure and fill the manifold up. They'll fill the whole wand, the whole hose up until they hold that wand and it squirts out the end. They see that pink antifreeze coming out the end of their gun itself, out of the nozzle. Yay! If you have the extra dollar to spend to do that, it certainly isn't going to hurt anything. I don't personally do that because I think it's kind of a waste of time, but, uh, but you can do that, yeah. That is a cheap, easy thing to do to protect your investment. Like I said, these are not cheap if you have to replace them because the water froze in there and cracked it. I mean, what was that, 50 cents worth of antifreeze we put in there? It's ridiculously cheap. Hey, by the way, I have some links right underneath this video in my description and in my pinned comment where you can click on those links and see how inexpensive this stuff is. Now that was for winterizing the pressure washer pump itself. Nothing to do with the engine because I already have a whole bunch of videos on winterizing the engine. Again, right in the description in the pinned comment, I have some links there for you. Get back to the engine winterizing. Check those out when you get a chance. And um, I think I'm done for today. I hope I help somebody out there as usual. And uh, lucky logger. Be safe, everybody. Cheers. Steve out.